CBS4's Dylan Thomas on our top story in Greeley. Dylan, this professor never expected to be involved in a murder mystery. Jim, Karen, the University of Northern Colorado actually has a stockpile of venomous stakes here on their campus in Greeley. They're using them to study whether or not their venom can be used to help battle things like high blood pressure and even cancer. But never did they expect their studies would help solve a murder more than 1,500 miles away. Books on snakes line UNC professor Steve Mackesy's office, but none explain how to solve a murder 1,500 miles away. We really didn't start working with snakes and snake venoms with the intent of going into forensics. Until five years ago. There were some messages on my cell phone, and one of these was actually from the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Canadian police needed Mackesy to help solve a mysterious death. A young girl east of Vancouver was dead at the hands of her mother's boyfriend. The fellow said that the child fell down the stairs. This individual had some curious habits. Like collecting venomous and illegal snakes, and then... Injecting himself with venom to stimulate his immune system. Back in Greeley, Mackesy was sent samples from the child and snakes found in the suspect's home. Magazine's tests validated suspicions. Snake venom was the cause of death of the two-year-old infant. This man administered venom to the child. The suspect then confessed for a man who loves snakes. This is highly venomous. And believes their venom can one day help humans. We'd never had anything like this before. Maxey says he's just happy he and his students could do their part to find justice. Information that we provided was central to them solving the case and bringing closure to this tragedy. The suspect in this case, Henry Thomas, is awaiting trial, I should say, sentencing right now in Canada. Live in Greeley, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first.